Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're going to test out this brand new mousetrap made by the Gonzo brand. It's called the Rodent Pro Multimax Mousetrap. It comes in a really nice box and they sell them in a two pack. So let's take them out and see what they look like. So here's what we have. It's basically a plastic tunnel and inside is a trap. Now this is very unique. I've never seen a mouse trap like this before. There's two clips in the back and when you pull on it, they unlatch and there's the mouse trap mechanism. Once you set it, you slide it back in this outer shell. And this thing has a very different trigger system. Instead of being down on the floor where they step on it, they push it forward. Now to set it, what you do is you push the setting mechanism down, push back the kill bar, and it should click into place if you do this right. There we go. You have to do it with two hands, but now it's all ready. The mouse will come along and push on that, and when it does, oh, that has quite a bit of force. Those two springs are more than enough to get a mouse. Now one thing I noticed with the triggers on these one-click mouse traps are they're pretty firm. So I'll hold this back and not smash my fingers again, but you can tap it quite a bit and it doesn't move. For me, that's not sensitive enough. So to catch mice, I like to make this a hair trigger by holding down the bar and pushing it right to the edge where it releases. See right there? That way the slightest touch by the mouse will get caught. Otherwise, they'll just lick the peanut butter and get a free meal. So I'll push that about halfway. Oh, that was too far. Right there, that is now a hair trigger. Then once the trap's all set with peanut butter on the trigger, you slide the trap back inside this tube. There's a slot there. And it locks into place with those two clips. This is all ready to go and we're gonna set it up to see if we can catch a mouse in the barn. But I have to be careful with what I show on YouTube. So I'm gonna use my paper tube. This will slide right inside. The mouse will enter and get the bait. It looks like it's gonna work. So let's go set up the motion cameras in the barn and see if we can catch a mouse with the Gonzo Multimax Mousetrap. Well, so far this trap has completely failed to catch a single mouse. I've tested it out for over a week at different locations. Over a dozen mice have gone in there and pretty much the story is the same. In the morning, the bait is gone, but the trap is still set. The problem is this trigger system. Even though we made it a hair trigger, it still takes quite a bit of force to set it off and it's standing straight up. Usually the pedal is on the ground and it uses the mouse's body weight when they step on it to release the spring but not with this one. The mouse is not naturally gonna push on this. Instead, it's gonna gently lick the peanut butter and it's completely fine. You can even push this and it won't set off the trap. I'm so convinced this design doesn't work. I'm gonna set it up one more night, but I'm not gonna use the cover. I can't show a mouse getting smashed on YouTube, but I don't think that's a problem. I'll put plenty of peanut butter right there and I think we'll watch the mice come along and enjoy a buffet. They have to push this pretty hard to set it off and they're not gonna do that. So let's go set up the motion cameras one more time and see if my theory is right that the mice will not set off the trap. Well, as you could see from the motion camera footage, the mice had no problem licking the peanut butter off the trigger. There's a reason we didn't catch a mouse all week. This is a brand new and very unique design, but sometimes unique is not better. I really like the mouse traps where the mice have to step on the pedal, not push it. It's just not in their natural behavior to do so. On this channel, I test out every mouse and rat trap I can get my hands on. If you haven't subscribed, please consider clicking that button. 
I've posted over 900 videos on YouTube and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday. So if you want to see the best videos on how to catch and sometimes not catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.